Hey, my name is Jason. I'm a registered sleep technician, and I wanted to go over the mask fitting and disassembly and reassembly of the Fisher Paykel Zest nasal mask. So, here is the Zest fully assembled as it should come uh, when you buy it or get it or receive it. I'm going to use this head here to help me show you how to size it. Uh, one of the bad things about this mask is you can only kind of clip it through or slide it through these clips and um, there's no real quick release um, clip on this mask like other masks have. So just undo one side, turn this inside out, hold it to the nose and pull this over. So this makes a nice halo around the head. Make sure all the straps are uh, straight and not twisted. Then you want to hook this back here. And that's it. Um, so as far as tightening the top to make it, um, no, you, you just want to make sure this is snug, not too tight, not too loose. That's it. Um, I do these Velcro straps and uh, what this has, this thing is supposed to flex. If you see if I push on that, so if it's tightened, it'll, it's supposed to flex so it fits your nose properly. but. Really, you don't need to over, over tighten this at all. Um, so just have it snug, put it back down. And then as far as the bottom, if you have leaking at the bottom, you can see that would be too loose for this person. You wanna pull these apart again on the bottom and tighten. One of the problems with this mask is if you over tighten it too much, these things right here, they start to, this plastic isn't real durable, and so this starts to bend, and then these things just come out no problem on their own. Anyway, as far as getting out of it, just find one side, pull it off like so, and over your head it goes. So if you wanted to take this mask off to do a deep, thorough cleaning, you don't actually have to take um, the headgear off, per se, by undoing the Velcro. This has little grooves in here, that the mask slides out of. You can see the groove here. Pull this down, slide it out. And this bottom part, there's these little clips that hold this wire in. That comes off. So now the headgear is completely off. If you wanted to pull this nozzle off, I tell people to grab here and you're gonna push, pull this way while you're holding this firm. And then this entire thing comes off. And this nasal piece, you just pull the entire piece off. And there's like a hard, plastic rim here that comes off with it. So you have the outer membrane with the hard plastic and the inner cushion part. You can see how this is a little oblong here. So the way it fits is the longer part fits in here. The shallow part with the groove here is what touches your face, not this side that sticks out far. So when you're putting it in, you can see how this is designed to fill out the bottom part of the, uh, the uh, thinner membrane here. So you see how this touches. And you just slide this back on. It'll there's like a notch right here at the top. That part fits in with the notch here. And then it should clip on. You heard an audible snap. So you ever want to replace these cushions, the forehead pieces, which will leave giant crater marks here if you over tighten it. You want to pull them the close side here on the outside. You want to slide it down just a tad, and that'll release here release at the bottom and once that's free you can slide that out so you can see these are it's like kind of like a butterfly wing so to put it back in slide through that and you slide it on and push it all the way through and then uh, you can see how it fits in you just do that for both sides so to put this part back on you want to make sure that these are facing up. Put this in front of the mask. With those facing up and you clip it on right there. 
we have to have some bony fingers to get this on because it does not go on easily. The headgear slides right through here again, assuming you wash this separately or when you take it off. Fisher Paykel makes some of the thickest headgear also. It's pretty spongy, so it's kind of hard to get through these. It's nice when you're wearing it because it's very soft, but uh, tougher to get through these grooves. Okay, there we go. And the last piece to get back on is this nozzle. All you do is push it back on until it clicks. That's it. Any questions? Send me an email, I'd be happy to answer.